After getting asked by a friend to build a tattoo gun, I decided I'd go ahead and give it a try despite having no experience. I went ahead and built it with things almost exclusively from my bedroom. So here's the process. Alright, so first you're going to need to start out with a regular Bic ballpoint pen. You're going to take it apart, take the ink cartridge out, and separate all the components. This piece at the end, you're going to take the ballpoint out of the little black tip that you can go ahead and throw away. Here I am cutting a board down to size to be able to fit on the cutting bed of my CNC machine. As you can see it's smoking a lot, I'm pretty sure I was using the wrong kind of blade. After that, I go ahead and cut out the remaining tabs used to keep the piece I'm cutting out in place for the duration of the cut. This piece will end up being the center piece of wood out of three that make up the body of the tattoo gun. Here I am cutting out the top of the three layers. And again, removing it from the cutting material. I ended up needing to cut away extra material to make room for the motor to spin freely. Here I'm cutting the bottom of the three layers with a recessed pocket to hold the motor. I used my Dremel with a fine engraving bit to cut a hole through the plastic for the shaft of the needle to pivot around. Then I take the shaft, which I have bent out of a bobby pin, and grind away the coating. This makes it easier for me to solder on a sewing needle. Here I notice the shaft of the needle is rubbing on the tube of the pen as it pivots, so I cut it down to size. After verifying that the motor still worked, I went ahead and set it all up. Here I notice as the needle moves around, it causes the tube of the pen to move out of place. That's where the next piece comes in. This top piece helps hold the tube of the pen in place as the motor spins the needle up and down through it. Due to the wide pivot of the shaft around the motor, the throw of the needle ended up being really far. So I built a guide for where the end of the needle reciprocates at.
Here I marked and cut out by hand where the trigger switch for the tattoo gun would go. I checked the continuity of the terminals to ensure the gun would fire when the button was pressed. I cut out a slot for the power switch. Engraved a channel for the wires. and then soldered all of the remaining connections together. After that, the last step remaining was to glue everything in place. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And here's the final result.